The report in here talks about 53% of the roads being in uh, poor to mediocre condition. And the roads that they're talking about are the collectors, the arterials, and the uh, highways in, in the area. And it's our urbanized area. And the urbanized area is Madison County, Huntsville, uh, Madison, and Limestone County. So just make sure that we have the right numbers in there. Uh, it, as far as the city of Huntsville is concerned, we go through, we rate our roads once a year, uh, our internal uh, neighborhood roads and our, our internal local roads. Uh, they're rated from zero to 60. 60 is, is the worst, zero is the best. A vast majority of our roads fall between 20 and 30. Uh, in, in that range, uh, everything 42 and up is repaved in the city of Huntsville. So just wanna make sure that we, we're talking apples to apples here. And the trip report comes out and talks about uh, congestion in an area. And remember, you're talking about the urbanized area, congestion in uh, the urbanized area, which is Limestone and Madison County and says that we have a 23, 23 hours a year that you spend in congestion. Break that down uh, about three minutes a day. Uh, when you break it down 60, 60 minutes to an hour and divide it by 365, it's about, um, it, it's about three minutes a day. And we, we say from our side, any congestion is too much congestion because we're growing. We are a growing community and with growing community, we're gonna have to continue to grow. One of the interesting things is we saw this coming. We saw the report coming uh, seven years ago. And seven years ago, you remember, we were working with the state of Alabama. We went through the A-trip process where uh, the state awarded a billion dollars worth of roads. Huntsville, Madison County uh, was able to capture the most roads out of that and the uh, most dollar amount in those. Uh, and then we came up with the Restore Our Roads projects. And over the next five years, we'll be spending over $400 million on roads in the city of Huntsville area alone. And that's because we saw that there is gonna be congestion in the future. Congestion comes from growth. Uh, we saw that we had to make sure that we kept our roads up and we spend $6 million a year on, in the city of Huntsville on our roads uh, just to keep up with maintenance and repair. It costs about $54,000 a lane mile to re resurface a road. So as we look at the trip report, the trip report is something that we all need to be looking at because we've got to take care of our state allocated roads, our arterials, our collectors, our highways have got to be taken care of. If we don't, we lose the ability to bring in industry. We lose the ability to have, have more industry come into this area, locate here. We lose the ability to bring in a workforce that comes in. We have 110,000 people a day who come into the city of Huntsville, they work here, then they go back out to another community. And because of that, we have to make sure that our roads are in the best position possible. Uh, we, we had lots of uh, work with Kathy Martin, our city engineer, with Shane Davis, our urban uh, director, over the last seven years to make sure that we could continue to build the roads that were necessary for the future. And as we build those roads that are made for the future, um, we started three years ago, it takes seven to 10 years to actually build a road that you're able to travel on. And so with that seven to 10 year period, we're in the midst of construction right now. Anybody who comes through South Parkway and comes, <coughs> comes up the parkway sees that construction. Uh, pretty soon you're gonna see the same construction on North Parkway at Maston Lake. Pretty soon you'll see that same construction coming around uh, Martin Luther King Boulevard as we do the Northern uh, Loop Road expansion. And as we add each of these projects, there will be congestion. The good news is that we are building roads. The bad news is we're building roads and we're having to go through the congestion. But as we look at the trip report, and the trip report, uh, we, have, uh, we have Tony Cochran from the BCA to talk to us today and Carolyn Kelly, who is Director of Communications for TRIP, both to talk to us and kind of look at these reports and tell us how important these are for the state of Alabama. Tony? Thank you, Mayor. As Mayor said, I am Tony Cochran. I'm a CPA from Albertville, Alabama. Uh, I'm also on the uh, Board of Directors for Business Council of Alabama and serve on the Executive Committee of Business Council Alabama. Um, as most of you know, the Business Council of Alabama BCA is uh, the statewide voice of business in Alabama. Through our member companies and our partnership with the Chamber of Commerce Association of Alabama, we represent almost a million workers in the state of Alabama. The BCA is, Alabama, is Alabama's exclusive contact to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce and the National Association of Manufacturers. And it's on behalf of BCA that I would like to welcome Carolyn Kelly, 
uh, and trip to, Alabama, to Huntsville this afternoon and thank them for all the quality work that they've done in our state and across the nation. The work that TRIP has accomplished in the last several years regards to infrastructure research has provided many states with the research they need to improve and make advancements in the infrastructure uh, that's so vital to their own economies and certainly to Alabama's as well. Infrastructures is one of the main pillars at BCA. Uh, this is why we have joined with other like-minded organizations and companies to create the Alliance uh, for Alabama's Infrastructure. And it's a gra grassroots advocacy, advocacy coalition that consists of business and community leaders from across the state who strive to advance the goal of improving Alabama's infrastructure through financially responsible investments, reforms, and also long-term solutions. The report, which will be presented in a moment uh, and highlighted by Carolyn on behalf of TRIP, is another data tool that we can use and provide to the legislature as they and other policymakers move about and craft options uh, to, to plot and solve solutions and bring solutions to the infrastructure, infrastructure woes here in Alabama. The issue of investing in our state's infrastructure is about three critical factors, economic development, safety, and certainly quality of life for all of our citizens. The report today will discuss and provide excellent analytical perspectives on all three of those things. Uh, business leaders rank infrastructure and highway accessibility as the second most important factor when selecting a site to create new jobs. So it's safe to say that economic development and infrastructure go hand in hand. And certainly when we send out surveys to our members each year, we find that they respond in a similar fashion, uh, that this infrastructure is incredibly important to our membership group. We also need to make sure that we remain economic, economically competitive with our members in neighboring states all through the southeast. All across our nation, we're seeing states address this issue, and, and, and they search for proper funding for their infrastructure. And we'd be at, at the BCA, we, we think it's time that Alabama do the same thing. And certainly, the time to address this issue is now for the state of Alabama. We need to continue to develop and provide quality research and data points for our decision makers, such as the TRIP report, uh, so that they can construct a plan that is data-driven, uh, which will ensure that we are making responsible investments in the state of Alabama. In terms of additional funding, any legislative initiative should, should include a long-term plan for the infrastructure in Alabama that pro provides not only the plan for how we're going to solve the issues, but also sustainable funding. As a state, we can come together on a plan, and a plan that will provide that long-term funding for our infrastructure, that we can accomplish the goals and the projects that will spark economic growth for the state of Alabama. Public safety on our roadways is certainly uh, a part of that as well. I'd now like to uh, invite Carolyn Ke Kelly with uh, TRIP. She's the Associate Director of Research and Communications to provide ver further details on their work. Thank you. Thank you, Tony, and thank you for, to the Chamber for hosting us this afternoon. As he said, my name is Carolyn Boniface Kelly. I'm the Associate Director of Research and Communication for TRIP and also the author of the report that's being released today. This report evaluates the state of Alabama's transportation system. It includes road and, road and bridge conditions, traffic congestion, highway safety, economic development, and transportation funding. Before I get to the findings of the report, let me first explain a little bit about who TRIP is and what we do. TRIP is a national nonprofit transportation research group based in Washington, D.C. We produce both state-specific reports like this one, as well as nationwide reports on a variety of transportation issues. The findings of our report are often cited by major news organizations and also used by legislators in their deliberations as they try to determine how best to take care of and to fund their transportation system. Since TRIP was founded more than 40 years ago, we've produced more than 500 reports in all 50 states. With that, let me turn to the findings of the report that we're releasing today, which is entitled Alabama Transportation by the Numbers, Meeting the State's Need for Safe and Efficient Mobility. The report that we're releasing today is part of TRIP's ongoing nationwide public education campaign. And as I said, it evaluates road and bridge conditions, traffic congestion, highway safety, economic development and transportation funding. We've also provided data breakdowns for the major urban areas in the city, 
or excuse me, in the state, including Birmingham, Hudsonville, Mobile, and Montgomery. Alabama's transportation network is truly the backbone of the state's economy. In fact, it carries $436 billion worth of goods every year in and out of the state, and it serves the state's 4 million licensed drivers and those passing through. It carries nearly 70 billion vehicle miles of travel each year. But the state's roads, because they're asked to lift such a heavy load, are becoming increasingly deteriorated and congested. Because they simply, there simply is not enough transportation funding to keep them in good repair and to keep them operating efficiently and safely. The condition of the state's transportation system impacts quality of life and it threatens economic growth. It also has a direct financial impact on the state's drivers. In fact, according to our report, Alabama's drivers lose $4.2 billion each year because they're driving on a transportation system that is deteriorated, congested, and not as safe as they could be. In fact, here in the Huntsville area, the average driver loses about $1,300 each year because the transportation system is deteriorated and beating up their vehicle and it's congested and it's causing them to waste time and money as they're stuck in traffic congestion and it's not as safe as it could be which leads to additional traffic crashes that perhaps could have been prevented. Now those costs are already startlingly high but they'll grow even higher in the future unless the state can find additional transportation funding in order to improve the condition and the efficiency of roads and bridges. Without additional transportation funding at the local, state, and federal levels Alabama's transportation system will continue to deteriorate and become increasingly congested, stifling economic growth and reducing quality of life here in the state. According to the TRIP report, throughout the state of Alabama, 19% of major roads are in poor condition. And here in Huntsville, 56% of major roads are in either poor or mediocre condition. Now, as the mayor indicated, that includes the major, major, major roads in the contiguous urban area. That includes arterials, collectors, and interstates. The anecdotal way to think about those roads is we're looking at the roads that you travel on after you leave your neighborhood. So of those roads, as I said, 56% are in poor or mediocre condition. Now that's more than just a nuisance for drivers. It means more than just hitting potholes. It's having a direct impact on their wallet. Based on TRIP's calculations, Driving on rough roads cost Alabama's drivers $1.5 billion each year in what we call extra vehicle operating costs. Those are essentially the cost of these rough roads beating up your vehicle. It's the cost of additional tire, tire wear. It's the cost of additional maintenance and repairs because you're going to see your mechanic more often. And it's the cost of increased tire wear and reduced fuel efficiency because your car is not able to operate as efficiently on these, on these rough roads. In addition to deficient pavements, we've also looked at the condition of the state's bridges in our new report. We found that Alabama's bridges are beginning to show signs of their age. In fact, 8% of the state's bridges are rated structurally deficient, which means that there's significant deterioration to the major components of the bridge. And here in the Huntsville area, about 4% of the area's bridges are also structurally deficient. Now, it's important to note that these bridges are safe for travel and that they're maintained and monitored on a regular basis by the organizations that are responsible for their upkeep, but many of them do need significant repairs or even replacement in some cases. The TRIP report also finds that Alabama's drivers are, are dealing with increasingly congested roadways. In the recent decades, the rate of travel and population growth has far outpaced the expansion of the transportation system. So as a result, Alabama's roads and bridges are increasingly crowded and congested. As a result, here in the Huntsville area, the average driver loses 23 hours each year as a result of being stuck in congestion, nearly one full day every year. But this is more than just a headache and more than just something that keeps you from getting from point A to point B. Our report calculates that the average driver here loses about $500 each year in the, in the form of lost time and wasted fuel because they're stuck in congestion. According to the TRIP report, nearly 4,300 people lost their lives on the state's roads in the last five years. The TRIP report also examines traffic safety and find that Alabama's traffic fatality rate is significantly higher than the national average. And the state's rural roads are particularly deadly. In fact, they've got a traffic fatality rate that's nearly double the fatality rate on all other roads in the state. So despite some of the deficiencies that are noted in the TRIP report, it's important to stress that the the organizations that are responsible for the, for the upkeep of the roads, the state DOT and the local municipalities, are doing a tremendous job with the funds they have available. 
but the reality is there's simply not enough funds available at the local, state, and federal level to keep the transportation system in good condition and to keep it operating safely and efficiently. Unless Alabama can increase the transportation funding at the local, state, and federal levels, many critically needed projects will remain stranding, stranded on the drawing board and the state's transportation system will become increasingly deteriorated and congested. Increasing investment in Alabama's transportation sy system is vital to boosting the state's economic growth and to increasing the quality of life of the state's residents. In the short term, transportation in investment creates good jobs, but in the long term, the benefits of an efficient transportation system that connects Alabama's residents, communities, and businesses can span for generations. Without adequate transportation funding, Alabama and the nation will lose their competitive edge, and the state's transportation system will become increasingly deteriorated and gridlocked. Uh, so that concludes the presentation of the findings of the trip report. At this time, I believe that the three of us will be available to take any questions that you might have. Yeah. And I might wrap this up with uh, Paul, I read your article. I won't let you know I do read you. Uh, but please remember, you know, when we start talking about roads that are in poor condition, we're talking about Madison County, Limestone County roads, uh, and the major collectors, which is 72, 20, 31, Highway 31, all the, all the uh, Federal Highway Administration's administered roads. And that's what we're really, I think, we're getting back to is we need a major transportation system. So when you come out of uh, Huntsville, or you come out of Athens, or you come out of uh, uh, Madison, or Decatur, that you can get on a road system that can help take traffic from one place to the other. And as we take traffic from one place to the other, we can also, we can bring in jobs, we can bring in industry, and we can keep industry coming in. Now, look at your, look at your study too, because when we start talking, and you know, I'm talking as a mayor who's proud of my city here, when we talk about Huntsville, uh, the vehicle occupancy cost, safety and congestion. We have the lowest cost in congestion. We have the lowest cost in safety. We have the highest cost in, uh, in what do we call it, vehicle operating costs. And I would say that's probably because we have the highest per capita income in the area. And because of the highest per capita income, we probably have the most expensive automobiles on the road. So that probably was what, where, where that cost comes in. But I will tell you one thing that we really need to do. We need to bear down on the statewide road system. Uh, Chip and I have been in many conversations with people who need distribution, uh, need distribution points and industries like Polaris who's come in, industries like Remington, they need to be able to have a road system that they can depend on, a state highway road system that they can depend on so that you can take your product, get it made here and ship it out to anywhere in the southeast or anywhere in the nation and make sure that that product gets there and gets there in a timely manner. And please uh, take some time out and read the report. Thank you.